<sighs> my body's numb, my legs are numb, my stomach's numb, my back is numb. So you're sitting in bed feeling sorry for yourself, like I am right now, complaining you don't have any energy, not really motivated to do anything. Maybe you just need to relax. Maybe lying in bed doing nothing is totally okay and that's what you want to be doing. That's what your body needs. Other times we actually do need to get up or do want to get up and do something and we just sit feeling sorry for ourselves. In this video, I am going to show you how I use cold water exposure to help myself snap out of these moods or to help just wake my ass up, give myself a little motivation, a little shot of dopamine rushing uh, through the body and to provide myself with a little bit of energy so I can get on with my day or so that I can be a little more focused and awake connected to my life you may say you don't have a cold bath or you don't even have a bath that's an excuse get your ass in the cold shower do something like that there's always something that we can do and there's always the little voice in our head doo, 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 telling us why we don't need to do anything or why the suggested plan of action is not going to help us Kind of like my mind is telling me not to get into the ice bath. Okay, the first thing I'm actually going to do is just sit up, okay? Sometimes we just need to get up. We just need to stand up, move our bodies, change our state of mind. I'm going to walk my lazy butt down to the bath. I'll see you there. Okay, I've managed <laughs> to take myself downstairs to the scene of the crime here, to the cold bath. As you can see, this is a full homemade ice bath contraption. Here I have the sort of ice packs that come from a food delivery service, okay? So I run the bath as cold as I possibly can. I usually wait a little while because it takes a while for it to cool down. I got my little uh, meat thermometer here and I use that to check the temperature of the bath. So we're down to, you probably can't see it, 58.9. 58, 59, that is not cold enough. I like to get it down to 50, sub 50 is awesome. Generally it's a bit, that takes a lot of work. So I'm gonna let the ice packs cool it down a bit longer. I also have an ice machine, which I generate ice, and I tend to wait a little while once the water cools down with these. I dump the ice in, I let that cool down the temperature, then I get in. As I showed you with the ice machine, I pack up all these bags and start taking them one by one. Or I'm gonna dump all the homemade frozen ice into the bath and then we will check the temperature again uh, after we've given it some time to freeze. We're back, the ice is almost melted. We are going to check the temperature. Oh wow, look, we cracked. 46, we got down to 46.8. As you can see, I shaved in the meantime. If you have anything else to do while you wait for your bath to cool down, you go ahead and do that. So we got it down under 50, amazing. I'm gonna take out a few of the ice packs because it does make it a bit uncomfortable in there. Then I'm gonna get in and enjoy the benefits. Now I also have jets in this bath and what it is said that if you do not have circulating water, your body creates a thermal layer, which protects it from the cold. If you are on the homemade train, you don't have jets, which I acknowledge is random that the house we bought, the bath in the basement had jets, wonderful. But if you don't have jets, I encourage you to at least do something every couple minutes to swish the water around and uh, that way you'll get a bit more of the benefits. Okay, now what I want you to practice with, the first piece is getting into your own mind and familiar with all the excuses your mind comes up with so you don't do difficult things like this. To me, this is more about training my mind to just stop whining and making excuses and do the thing that I'm not wanting to do. So for me, prior to getting in, there's always, I can do this later. It's not cold enough or, you know, I don't need to do this right now. I could go do something else. It's all nonsense. So first piece is really getting into that part of our mind that wants to escape. The next piece, I guess, is just stepping right in. So here we go. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's cool. Now I have a bathing suit on today because of the video. I often go in naked. Oh, oh. This is where a mindfulness practice can be very helpful. So for me, a mindfulness practice is very helpful in these moments. because I'm just trying to tune in to the sensations in my body. And all of them are screaming, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. And so I'm just gonna do my best to allow that to be the case. Okay, as you can see, I just removed the shampoo bottles. They were bothering me. So it is fucking cold as shit. My legs are freezing. My upper body's not in yet, so I am gonna submerge myself a wee bit. As you can probably hear, the jets are not on yet. <laughs> yeah, that's cold. That is cold. So I'm gonna turn on the jets. Oh boy. Oh, now the jets are on. I try to get as deep as I can. The bath's not very big, so I just do my best to be present, tune into the body sensations, and allow myself to enjoy the benefits of this ice bath, cold water submersion, immersion? I don't know. Okay, I will check back in in about 10 minutes. It's all good, gets easier. After that first initial intense resistance passes, your body does, I think, adjust. So yeah, I'll be in here for about 10 minutes. Okay, because of the size of my bath, I do alternate from all legs in to all body in. So I go back and forth throughout the experience just to mix it up. And quite frankly, I cannot submerge my whole body at once. This is pretty much as close as I can get. It's a bit uncomfortable because I have to have my legs crossed like this. It's not exactly ideal, but it seems to be okay. Anyhow, see you back in a few minutes when it's over. We're doing a little uh, five minute temperature check here. Still under 50. So of course with my body in the bath, I am warming it up myself. So as you saw, as, as the body gets in and warms up the bath, due to the body temperature. It's still under 50, which is pretty awesome. So I'm about halfway through my 10 minute ice bath. Just want to do a, a quick uh, temperature check at the five minute mark. We'll be back. Okay, I turned off the jets because um, you probably couldn't hear me very well. So there it is, I, I got through the 10 minutes. I actually am feeling lovely. The jets are off, so it is a little more tolerable. Let's do another temperature check. Okay, it's at 50. 0.8. So as you can see, it's gone up two, three degrees Fahrenheit, but not bad for a 10 minute bath with my body warming it up, fighting the cold. So just remember, mind skills for well-being includes actions, doing things, finding ways to help yourself feel better, feel differently, enhance your motivation, address low mood, all these kind of things. Really, it's all about action in this case today. I was lying down feeling sorry for myself or just being lazy and a bit of a bum. And sometimes, as I mentioned, that's fine. If that's what you need, you need to relax. The kind of toxic hustle culture that we often find ourselves in certainly is not helpful and it's a bit unrealistic. If you do need to chill, you go ahead and chill. If you need to change your mood, increase your focus, get up and do something and you're feeling sorry for yourself, take an action. A lovely motto with the Starts With Me channel is, you can't think your way into right action. You have to act your way into right thinking. So now certainly my brain's a bit more tuned up. I'm more present, I'm more aware. I can get back to my day. So don't feel sorry for yourself or don't do it for too long. Remember you have agency. You have the ability to change your mood, change your situation. So get off your butt and do something. Okay, just remember, if you're ever going to do anything like this, do it carefully. Do not expose yourself. Do not hurt yourself. Do not try to be a hero, okay? Take your time. When I started doing the ice baths, I started for five minutes. The temperature was between 55, 60-ish. I slowly increased my tolerance, my willingness 
and the resources I had to make the bath colder. So the more ice packs I got, bought an ice machine, started storing the ice. So just remember, take it slow. Do not hurt yourself. This isn't about being a martyr, okay? You're not trying to hurt yourself. You're trying to continually push yourself towards behaviors or towards more challenging experiences. Okay, so that's just a little disclaimer. This is not trying to get you to do stupid shit, okay? Be smart, don't be stupid. Think about what you're doing. Take your time, okay? There is no rush, all right? Take it easy, peace out. I am very grateful that you watched to the end of this video. Please click one of the boxes to watch more of our content and otherwise have a great day. Peace out.